me It's in my birthday, yeah Cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this is some my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it Hi everyone, welcome back. Another vlog. It's the weekend here in Kerry. Usually I vlog during the week, but I felt like just bringing you around for the weekend today. I popped on some makeup. We went for a run this morning at the beach. It was so nice. Like it's really gloomy and not very sunny, but it was still lovely. Like the air. I'm definitely spending so much time in the countryside as I'm about to say this, but the air was so nice. It's like fresh air and you feel so good after it. So I just came home, washed my hair. I popped on a bit of makeup. Um, I have a few bits to shoot today and I just have a few little jobs to be doing. So I figured I'd pop on a bit and make myself feel better. And I've actually been really enjoying doing makeup, which is new for me. Like usually I'd have to, like putting on my makeup in the morning would be kind of something that I had to do. Like, you know, just get it done if I was going to, meetings and events you know pre-covid but now i've started to enjoy like experimenting with new things i'm using a new brow pencil i know lots of you fellow redhead or just pale skin people ask about my brows and i got this new one from be perfect cosmetics i'm an ambassador for them and it's arid brown and i just popped on the pencil this morning they do have like a cream and powder product as well I've been loving it. If you follow on Instagram, you'll already have seen me talk about that. Now the rest of the day is kind of one of those days I have lots of random jobs to do. Like, you know those jobs you just push off to the weekend? I have one that you're going to laugh at. If any of you have been following since my, you remember my apartment in New York, the two bedroom with like the big sitting room in the Upper East Side. If any of you have been following since then, the job I have to do today will remind you of something in that apartment so, so yeah hair makeup done i must pop on something to wear but before i do that i'm actually going to pop in a teeth whitening strip so if you've been following for um a while over the last couple of months you'll know that i'm an ambassador for spotlight oral care i use their toothbrush their toothpaste um the teeth whitening strips the whitening pen i just love their products my mom my dad kaylin <laughs> we all have the toothbrushes tommy david i've convinced everyone around me to get them because they are so good and you might remember my results with the teeth whitening strips I'll pop in a picture here like the difference was insane I mean I didn't even realize how bad my teeth had gotten I'm, I'm a huge huge coffee drinker they got very yellow and the, the 14 day treatment that I used from spotlight just like brought them to life like you can see they definitely have a good glow and a good whiteness to them still even from that I did that back in October November but since I've been home, I've been drinking so much coffee. Like it's actually getting to be a bit of a joke. And in New York, I would drink it for the energy. Whereas here I'm drinking it as like a relaxing thing. So like I'll be working during the day and I'll, I say to myself, I'll pop downstairs now and sit in the living room and look out at the mountains and have a coffee for 10 minutes. And I'm drinking at least three coffees a day at the moment. So I'm just finding in some pictures and stuff that I'm taking, I'm seeing them go a little bit yellow again. So I'm gonna do the 14 day treatment. I have it here, I have a brand new one. This is how it comes. So I'm gonna just pop in my strip now while I'm getting dressed and just tidying up the place. You leave them on for an hour. You can also do it at like night time. I sometimes do in the morning, I sometimes do at night. Say if you're about to watch a Netflix show, that's like an hour. You can pop it on right before. They're just really, really handy and easy to do. So this is the box they come in. I'm really excited to see now how this like top up will kind of improve my teeth. So I've only done the strips once before. This is my second go with them. So in the box you get the strips, there's 28 all together. So 14 packets, one for each day and one for the top, one for the bottom in each packet. And then you also get the teeth whitening two so this is a brand new one. I have one in my bathroom already that I've been using so I'll keep this as a spare But I really recommend when you're doing the treatment to use the both together because I think that's when you really see The difference like straight away after the 14 days when you use them together So I'll pop on a strip now the first time you'll use these it will feel a tiny bit weird but honestly, it's like you get so used to it then after like a couple of days and sensitivity 
you do feel slight sensitivity at the beginning. Everyone's different. I have extremely sensitive teeth. So I do feel a tiny bit at the beginning, but after the first couple of days, it's grand. I don't feel anything. Compared to other strips I've used, these are one million times better. So yeah, I really recommend them. So this is what it looks like. So you do the shorter one on the bottom teeth, and these are so quick and easy to do. Actually, I probably shouldn't have put on my lipstick before I did this, but we'll just see if I can, if I can make it work. And then the longer one on the top. Okay, so they're both in. As you can see, like they're totally clear so you can kind of go about your day. We are talking a tiny bit weird <laughs> for the first few minutes, but it's fine then. So I'll leave these on for an hour now and you usually actually do see a, a good bit of a difference after I find the very first strip you use in the treatment like the last time I was like wow I actually saw a really good change but it might be a bit different this time because it's my second time doing the strips but I'll show you anyway once we take it off and then we will begin the day properly <laughs> all right the hour is up I'm dressed and everything um so I'm gonna just take them off okay they're off and now the trick is you don't brush them like you brush them straight away but you don't use toothpaste when you're brushing after the strip so just use water with your toothbrush and it just gets rid of all the residue and then you're done okay first strip done definitely definitely whiter it's crazy how much tea and coffee and just those dark liquids they really do like not straight away they make a difference, but the more you have them, I just see it myself in pictures and stuff. So that's such a nice boost. So I'll do that now for the next 13 days. Really easy as you saw, like you can just do it while you're doing something else. They're so easy to have on. And the good news, so if you wanna try them, or if you wanna try just the toothpaste, or you wanna try the whitening pen, or you wanna get a toothbrush, like the one I just used, anything on the site, I have a 30% discount for you. It used to be 25%, and they've given me an extra 5% for you for this year at the moment. It probably won't last all the time. So it's currently 30%, so get on it if you have been meaning to get any of these things, or if you wanna top up on any of your products. It's Retro 30, and I'll link all the products down below. I'll link the strips, and you can see how I'm getting on with them now over the next two weeks. I'm vlogging the whole time, so I'll keep you updated in these vlogs and over on my Instagram as well. So yeah, really happy with that. Okay, so in the meantime, I got dressed. Very, very comfy and casual, nothing <laughs> too crazy. I just put on this silk lace cami from Sinead Curie, and this uh, wrap-over is actually a cashmere one I've had for a while, and it's so, so nice, and there it goes, Kellen. Go on. <laughs> it's either dogs barking around here or some family member walking in when I'm trying to vlog. But anyway, then these are the Marks and Spencer's leggings I showed you in the last, what are you laughing at? <laughs> these are so good. Like, I was not lying when I said that I've been living in them. They're so comfy for around the house, especially on a Saturday. And the MVPs, my Ugg slippers. So yeah, that's me. And then I have my Lulerie jewelry on, of course, the pearl Lafayette necklace and the bleaker earrings. I don't even know if I, did I? Did I officially tell you that we've restocked everything for my collection with Lulery? So I think the last time, I think I might have mentioned it, but I hadn't restocked yet. So everything is back in stock, which is so exciting. We got loads, loads, loads more stock this time. We launched it back in November and we really just didn't anticipate such a big interest. It was just so hard to know, you know, because it's my first time I've ever designed something and we sold out like really quickly, which was so exciting. But then I also felt so bad for anyone who didn't get it. So we opened up a wait list. We ordered loads and loads of stock in for the wait list. And then we sorted out all the wait list first. So everyone hopefully got sorted through that. And now we have some extra pieces on the side just for everyone. So you'll be seeing me wear them and it's actually the best thing ever because now I can link them because I was wearing them obviously since we launched and even before we launched. And then because they sold out so quickly, whenever I was wearing them, I wasn't able to really like link them or share them properly. So I'll link the whole collection down below if you want to have a look out, um, even just for like Valentine's presents, hint, hint to the boyfriends or Mother's Day. There's lots of like nice little occasions coming up or just a 2021 treat for yourself. And then we will have a new collection coming out as well 
at some stage this year. So lots in the works, really, really exciting. And I know I've said it loads before, but thank you so much for all your support in this collaboration. It's like, hands down, been such a highlight for me over the last couple of months and just working on it. And it's just really cool to be able to actually share it. And for me to see people wearing, it's like surreal. So anyway, that's my jewelry and that's my look for the day, very casual. I'm gonna just grab something to eat, I'm kind of hungry. Again, I had breakfast after the run, but I'm gonna grab something quick now. onto the jobs let me show you the the big one first and the one that will remind you of my apartment here is this storage closet room does it remind you of my monica closet in the last apartment like since i've this has this was empty when i came home and since i've been home i'm just like throwing things in there i love to have like a really clean space but i always have this one room that everything just gets thrown into basically comment below if you're the same but today is the day i need to like sort it out so i need to just go through some of these boxes like different packages from brands and stuff i've like pajamas thrown in here suitcases lots of random stuff and then in these boxes here are like all my old pictures scrapbooks college fashion projects like there's so much in there and mom has just told me that i have to go through them on this trip these were like all in the attic but she put them in here so that i'll go through everything Up to my Oh my god, look at these. <laughs> Just in case you wanted proof that I played football all growing up. My Kerry jerseys. What was this one? Primary game. I was number four for that. Um, this was my, oh, my school one. Clark and Craig Union, or was that? Yeah, All-Ireland Post-Primary Schools Junior A Final. That was me for that. This is when I played, I think, Kerry under 14s. So yeah, lots of jerseys. I actually think I'm gonna bring some of them back to New York because I play football over there now. I started last year and I'm gonna play again this season when I get back. So it'll actually be handy to have some of these, but yeah, throw back. I just found a Valentine's card from Tommy. It says, still going strong after four Valentine's days, our fourth <laughs> anniversary. That's cute, I literally keep way too much stuff. Okay, these are actually so heavy. So I'm gonna have to do these ones in here, I think. But oh my God, there's literally so much stuff. So I did a fashion course. Out of breath, um, for a year in Galway and I made like all these project books so we would do like different modules so this was fashion advertising and branding I think this was our design one this one was look at the butterflies oh this was our window display oh my god like look how creative I was back then I feel like I'm not that creative anymore these were like all my plans is how I was gonna do this like window display. I made like a spring window display with a swing and then I had like the bag on it. Wow, so much detail. This was my century of fashion. Oh yeah, so this was, uh, what was it called, the module? Oh, fashion styling. So I think I had to like look through, you know, all the different eras of fashion and look at all the detail like oh my god how long did these take me like that year that course was the best thing i ever did but it was also i think the most time consuming thing i ever did but it taught me so much like the 1920s 30s and then i like showed even all the makeup in the different eras the 50s i love the 50s i love these like silhouettes so chic Oh wow, so stunning. Like this talk forever. Even the hair and what are we on to now? Oh yeah, the 70s. 
and then I think this was actually just for myself I'd make these like trend books just for myself and like this was autumn winter 2011 so I'd like look at all the magazines and cut out like if I were a boy so this was very you know um suits and kind of more masculine style what was the next goal then like polka dots well 70s animal print retro glam very fitting love those silhouettes yeah i think i just did that for myself for my own for my own reference my last one i'm actually enjoying looking back on all these this is my fashion advertising so i loved this like i loved really looking into this kind of stuff because obviously i love marketing and i studied business and marketing in college so this was i remember just really enjoying this one <laughs> Look at that. Um, all the different marketing campaigns and advertisements over the years like war related ads it was really interesting and then I think I typed all these out and printed them out Louis Vuitton oh, such a good course I absolutely loved it so like, I can't throw them away I mean I don't have any use for them but I think I just couldn't throw them away there's just so much work maybe if I have a daughter in the future or something like that she might find it interesting to look back and all that stuff but I actually talked about it on my Instagram recently that I did that fashion course I'm a lot of people were messaging asking what it was because it's actually so hard to find fashion courses that are business related so we did like fashion PR we did a bit of styling a bit of design but then we also focused on like the business side so PR event management and um, we did a buying module which was so interesting so I really liked it I was in a college in Galway called GTI it was a level six course as far as I know so I did that I took a year out when I was in commerce after the first year and then I went and did the styling course I went and did the fashion course for a year and then I went back and finished commerce so I got the two qualifications within the four years which is really good so yeah I really recommend it I can write down the details in the description box if any of you are looking for a course in Ireland all right now this whole situation I gotta figure these out okay a little while later we are done it is so much tidier and emptier like all this space now let me show you i can actually walk in again all this space also while i was doing a clear out i actually did all my makeup and more than i planned on doing but i found this little gift set it's from be perfect i'm one of their brand ambassadors and they'd sent this out to me over christmas and i completely forgot about it and i actually have all these things already so i was thinking i could do a little giveaway here on youtube to give this to one of you i will keep it to ireland just because it is kind of a big thing to ship so it would be like i have a feeling a lot to ship it um internationally so for my irish followers just while i'm home as a little treat if you just comment below with um just leave a little comment and hashtag retro flame fam and i'll pick like a random comment next week from them all and I'll send it out to one of you. I'll get in touch and I'll get your address. Let me just show you what's in it. It's actually really nice. It was one of their Christmas sets. So these are the best tanning mitts. I use them. You've one for your face. It's a little mini one, which I love. And then you have a bigger one for your body and the quality is really good. Like it puts the tan on really nicely. And then you have a full bottle of the 10 second tan in dark and then that's watermelon scented. And then you have this really nice shimmer for your face and your body so you can use that for highlighter on your face or on your collarbones on your legs when we all get to go out again <laughs> it's a really nice one so yeah just comment below hashtag retro flame fam and i'll pick a random winner good morning joey tell them what you do erica for me yeah tell them what you do every day it's not my fault he runs out it the door, okay? Fault. Maybe we need to bring him on more walks. You, you open the door and he... Okay, Sunday morning. Our favorite morning of the week. But look at this weather. Can you hear the rain? We were supposed to go for a walk, but that's not happening. So we're going to go to our local bakery and pick up some scones and come back and have some coffee and chill because this weather. <laughs> Joey, they're coming back. They're coming back. They're going to get us breakfast. Calm down. <laughs> this is the little cafe we go to. Emily's.
Okay. <laughs> I'm back in pajamas. It's literally like already dark. What time is it? Half five, six. Yeah, just six o'clock. I'm putting on the pajamas. Guys, I really haven't done much today. I didn't have much to vlog. I actually spent so much of the day reading my book. I'm glued to it. It's Shoe Dog by Phil Knight. He's the founder of Nike. And oh my God, it's so interesting. And I kind of just took a day to chill. It's so gloomy here, it's so rainy. I was meant to go for a walk. Kept putting it off, didn't end up going. Just taking a day off. But I'm gonna go downstairs now and make some dinner. Like as a family, we're quite healthy. Um, especially when it comes to dinner. It's like we'll make healthy, ish dinners all week but on Sunday anything goes so I'm about to have the most random like I wouldn't even call it a dinner because I'll probably have something else again later but probably will like horrify some of you but I just love it and I can mainly just have this in Ireland because of one element of it so I'll show you what I'm making Ken's down there too I think we're gonna just chill watch some tv I'm gonna keep reading and yeah that's the plan okay gourmet meal coming right up I'm sure some of you would have guessed it. Some waffles and then and for the topping, spaghetti in a tin. Probably like so unhealthy for you, but surprisingly they're very nice together. 